can make and mimic so many different sounds. They're like practically like parrots in that way. They're actually nicknamed the canaries of the sea for that reason. So sometimes some of these belugas will mimic the sound of like a trainer's laugh or something. We've also even heard them mimicking the sound of like a, a child crying or laughing like around here. And so it's really fun because my team's office is right located up there. So sometimes we like to play this game of, is that a child crying or a beluga <laughs> vocalizing? So it's really fun to see. Now you'll notice in here, there are several different types of belugas. Check out that one. Oh, excuse me, not several different types of belugas. They are several different colorations, right? They're all, of course, beluga whales. That coloration difference comes from their age differences. So we've got two uh, youngsters that are just about three and four, or two, three, two and three, rather. And um, they are still sort of this dark gray color because when belugas are born, they're born as gray as my shirt. They're born this deep dark gray color because they're often born in areas that look like this. This is meant to mimic an estuary, which is an area of water. That's basically, here's another gray guy, basically where a body of fresh water, like a river, meets the ocean. So lots of sediment is gonna kind of be brought up from that river, which is also gonna create a nice flow of food for smaller animals. And those smaller fish are of course gonna create a nice steady flow of food for the large guys like blue whales, which is again why estuaries are super enticing to belugas, uh, especially when they go to have their babies. So that brackish water, meaning that salt water, fresh water mix, uh, is kind of murkier. And so that dark gray helps them to blend in with the color of that water and the color of the, uh, the their mother's shadow. So it's kind of neat. And then as they get older, they're, they are migratory. So they that bright white color helps them once they're in spaces with like lots of ice and snow, of course. So check out their nice distinction there. That guy's, of course, much smaller too. All right, are we ready to move? Let's rock.